Alright guys, so um, this time I'm going to be showing you how to use Illustrator um, to mock up some of your home pages. So uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, the tutorials will be up online and you'll be able to, to use this start file if you want to make your own version of this home page. Um, so I think I'll just get started with showing you where I got my inspiration from uh, in this particular site. I like them the way uh, the, uh, the images were laid out, just a nice square box there. I didn't mind the navigation system here uh, and this navigation system as well, it's quite interesting. So I sort of just took all these ideas and pushed it all together and then I came up with a bit of design. So I uh, just quickly drew that, scanned it in and then I just placed it in. And uh, I've already made it, so I'll sort of show you what I what I ended up with in the end. Just go through, save for web and devices. Just to have, let you have a bit of a look at it. Blah blah blah. And just ended up by copying over some images. Got sick of bringing them in, <laughs> and I didn't add any to the my photo section. I just got the places there. All right, so that's about it. So let's get started. So if we go in here, check out our color swatches. We've got a whole heap of swatches in there. Um, most of these we don't need. So I'm just going to go ahead and just delete them all actually. I think I'll do that one. Just holding down the shift key to delete. Yeah, I want to get rid of all those. And I want to get rid of those too as well. So Alright, so <clears throat> I also go through and show you these home pages so you can check out the websites yourself. I'll make this one hard to sort of scroll through, but that remains the same. I'm just checking out some of these artwork. Like that. That's the idea. All the inspiration leads up to a nice and neat thing. I uh, went online, found something from my stock that I really liked. This particular image jumped into Cooler, uh, went onto the Adobe website, logged in, and then I made this uh, Nature Parks theme. Pretty easy to do. Um, all we need to do is just go to Create. And there's the image that I've loaded up. All you need to do is just upload, bang, click on that, loads the image in there. You just mouse around and choose what part you want. So I just went through and chose these parts. It's pretty selective, it's pretty good. Then you can just save it. So um, I saved this one. If we go back to uh, to my themes, and you see I've got a couple here. I've got, oops. Cooler. Cooler just crashed. Themes. Cooler crashed again. Cooler sign out. Cooler sign back in again. All right. So once you've made your your theme and you've loaded it up, you can then go ahead and uh, actually import it straight into Illustrator. So I'm going to do that. To Windows extensions, cooler. I've already done a search. Mine was called Nature Green. You can see it's posted by me. And I'm just going to click on this little guy down the bottom here. And you'll see that now the theme has been added to my library. So that's the first part that I'm going to start with. I've got some colours that I want to use. I already went out and did a bit of research on these. There's my swatches going. I'm just going to load them up using 4.4. This bloke here. I'm going to do 2 2 now. And
and also grab through three. Okay, so <clears throat> go back to my design. Can't really see it, but there is a gradient there. You can see it more down here, darker edge. At the top, it's the same. So, that's what we're going to start off by creating. Grab this rectangle tool, do a bit of drawing for a rectangle, like so. Get a gradient tool, which is over here, G on the keyboard. Bring that up. Bring up that gradient. Just click on it. You can choose the 2-2 two, two, and the 4-4, four, four, the other one. Let's just put them across. 4-4. Four, four. That's great. I'm just going to go here and use this feature to swing it around. So I'm going dark at the top, light down the bottom. So I like. I'm going to bring up some rollers here, Control R, we can get a few rollers. It's going to come out a couple. Um, I'll be about the same from here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get more accurate. Like that. Right. All right, so that's where I'm going to draw my next large rectangle, which I don't want to be a gradient. I already know what I want it to be, which was the darker color. Just going to snap to the edges. Oops. So if we zoom in there, we'll see that up here. Looks exactly the same. Put down the bottom one. Got a nice contrast and gradient there. That's great. Oops. That stuff's just come up. And if you're using Safari, there's a cool little feature. You can just grab this and drop it into the side there. That's not what I wanted to show you. I'm not doing it. No. Maybe there's too many across there, but you can drop them in. No. I love this for doing that. Alright, so now we've got our, our basic layout. Um, I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, I'm going to import my image, I think, and I'll play around with that in a minute. We'll get this set up. So file, place, all our images, not a whole heap of images. You guys can jump up and grab this uh, image file if you wanted from my stock. Stretch it up. 